everyone, hi everybody, Mr. Higgins here, and we are ready to start Photoshop 102, which is creating Photoshops with PNGs and layers. A lot of students really wanted to jump right into this, but I think it's really important before we do this project to get the basics down. In the last project, Photoshop 101, we worked on the select tool, cutting and pasting pieces of images. We worked on changing the colors with color balance, and we also worked on using the eraser tool, both the soft eraser to blend and the hard eraser eraser to edit things out. Now, if you feel like you still need more work, maybe you could go back and do one one or two more of project three. Just to practice those skills, make sure you're feeling good with that before we start on project four, bringing in PNGs, using that eraser to try to edit out pieces of the PNGs to make them fit, using the warp tool, and then we're going to be using layer modes to add black and white images, and we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how to add tattoos very easily that way. Here are some other examples as well. Now, some of these can be really fun like adding some Doritos and some semi-automatic assault rifles to a cat, or they can be pretty awesome design-wise speaking. Like there's this K-pop poster that someone made last year, which is really cool. Uh, this is my basic Caillou with nothing, and this is my Caillou with all the adjustments. You are going to be, for this project, to get full credit, I want you to do three Photoshops with at least five PNGs added to each one. Really suggest that you use different PNGs for each image. Although if there is a PNG you really like and want to reuse, say, Thug Life glasses or a wig that you edited out, you can use that more than once if you really want to. So I just want to go through. I can toggle these on and off for each layer. I have separate hands. I have nose ring. I've also named these. I have an alternative shirt here. So here's Maggie. Then I also edited a Stop Caillou shirt onto Caillou as well. I wasn't sure which one I liked better. And I added some big bird legs. All right, so first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find PNG. To do this, you can start typing things in. Thug Life Glasses, for example. Very popular on the internet. I'm going to make sure that I select Tools, Color, Transparent. And I'm also going to do Size Large. That's going to make sure that I have large images to work with. No, I want the, uh, so there's some glasses here without a stem, but I want one with a stem. So, and I'm just going to click on one here. And notice I see that white and gray, which means that it's a transparent PNG. I'm going to right click and click Save Image As. I'm going to save that in. And I'm going to jump over to Photopea so I can drag and drop this in. Now notice that these glasses, there's two of them, but since we practice using the eraser tool, this should be pretty easy. I'm going to hold down shift when I use edit free transform to try to get it to the right size. Then I'm going to go over to my eraser tool. I'm going to set the size of the eraser to whatever I need. I'm going to make sure my hardness is set to 100. Remember, I don't want to blend. I actually want to erase. So what I need to do is right click on that layer and rasterize it. Then it'll let me erase it erase the one pair of glasses and now I'm pretty good if I wanted to adjust this at all remember I can go to edit I'll transform warp and if I wanted to just pull that in a little bit or if I wanted to kind of pull that in or pull that out a little bit more I could do that if you want to you could add a special effect so remember I can right click that layer do blending options and maybe I just want to do a quick drop shadow on that I can move that in and out kind of double check that if you want to add a shadow sometimes it can look really good obviously if you're doing hair you probably don't want a shadow on that but I like the sunglasses kind of pop out a little bit so the next thing that I'd want to do is add some more things so you go through that same process I can click file open in place and I could grab a wig I could grab a hat and I want to grab my robot hand looks good and maybe I want to replace his real hand with a robot hand so I can get it generally in the right area but notice I can still see his real hand underneath that one so what I'd want to do first I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to zoom in and I actually want to erase his original hand because that'll make it easier to put something on top when I do that I just want to make sure my hardness is set up to 100% then I'm going to go down to the Caillou layer on the bottom I'm just going to do my best to erase that all right that looks good now I'm ready to place that robot hand I click it again I do edit free transform so I can try to get my size right. Notice I have my navigator window open. You can use the zoom tool and the hand tool, or you can do window navigator to zoom around. I do like the navigator. It seems a little faster to me. Now I'm going to do edit transform warp, and I'm going to take that PNG and I'm just going to move it around so it fits perfectly. Notice Caillou has a black outline because he's a cartoon. We want to match that robot hand so it looks good. So I'm going to right click, go to blending options, and I'm going to pick stroke. And I can change the size of that stroke. Notice I can do, also do inside or outside. I'm going to do outside and I'm going to take my size. I want to try to match the, the width of the layer to Caillou. That looks about right. So it's about four megapixels. It'll be different for whatever you want to do. And if I wanted to change the color, I am going to click on my layer here to match the color of the line. And now, Caillou's robot hand matches his outline in the normal image, which is just think about how you can use special effects. Think about using the tools that you've learned, how you can make it look as cool as possible. 
I'm going to do two more examples of using the tools that we've learned uh, to add PNGs to, for Photoshopping. So I'm going to do File, Open in Place. I'm going to grab the hair. And I'm going to grab this wig right here. Notice the thing about this wig is that it actually has the section here of the hair behind where the hair would be on the face. So what you would want to do in order to use this, you'd want to use the eraser tool and come out here and try to erase it out. Grab my eraser tool and I'm going to make my hardness real high, maybe like 100%. And then I'll just come through here, rasterize it first, and then I'll come through here and just try to kind of move my eraser along that layer. Now notice, I can adjust it up. If I wanted to zoom in there, I could make it even better. Now it can be put on top. So I'm going to go to Edit, Free Transform. I'm going to rotate and make it a little bit smaller, kind of get a generally the right size. Now notice it doesn't quite fit Kaio's head because Kaio's a circle. What we can do is we can start to use Transform Warp again. And we keep using this so I can start to bring this down. I want to show one more thing, and that's adding tattoos, which is going to be using something called layer modes, which is new for most people. So I'm going to go to File, Open, and Place, and I am going to grab this mom tattoo I have here. I'm going to grab the eraser and just erase it down so it's just white. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to click my layer with my tattoo that I want to add, and I'm going to click, I'm going to click layer mode, I'm going to click normal, I'm going to change it to darken. Edit, free transform. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to hold down shift to take it down to what I want and kind of put this wherever I want now. So notice because when it's on something that's darker, so I'm going to put it on Caillou. Remember I can also, if I wanted to kind of bend it a little bit, I can always do transform warp because maybe uh, maybe if the tattoo were on his neck or something, you might want to bend it down a little bit. So those are three different techniques. One last technique that I'll show over real quick is, so I replaced Caillou's leg with Big Bird's legs. And what I need to do to do that, I click the original layer and I'm going to use my eraser tool just to erase those legs, try to get as close as possible. If I wanted to be perfect, I could zoom in and then I could bring in legs underneath. So if I do file open in place, grab that cybernetic hand again instead of a leg. Maybe I'm just going to give him some robot hands for legs. I'm going to arrange them the way I want to. Click OK and drag them underneath. And then I'm going to uh, duplicate that layer. And I'm going to go to edit free transform. So now Caillou has robot hands for legs. Anyway, I think you get the idea that we can start to mix and match and make some really cool special effects, make some really cool photoshops by bringing in PNGs, by using layer modes, by erasing, and by combining. And I'm super excited to see what you make. Let's get to it. Bye.